if I want to get if I want to get my pool light working, I need to get some insulation on these wires here. Now, I was just curious and I thought I would try to see what happens when I put a wrench on this nut here and what I discovered is that the nut just disintegrates. So it, I guess it's essentially pot metal and when I, oh, there we go, we've got something. Now, I'm afraid of what I'm actually going to get here. Uh, I'm guessing that this is a ground wire here, and this really should be sealed. And you can see that the seal is gone right here, and there were no screws in that when I bought this house. And the supply wiring that comes in from the side, which is... You know, solid wire Romex has uh, disintegrated. Now I'm glad to see that I was able to get this nut loose because clearly if I'm gonna use any wire I need to be able to get something down there. Now what this wire here does I don't know. Everything's wet because on top of it just generally being wet it also just rained so and there, whatever that wire is or was, is now broken. Not sure if it was soldered into the bottom here, or if there was maybe once upon a time a nut right there that was, feels like there might have been a screw there that may have been holding that wire down. But since that moved, maybe I'll actually be able to get this off. I hope it didn't break the whole conduit. You can see that this hot metal nut kind of just went kaputs there. So now, I'm not sure I have the right wrenches here, so grab this set of channel locks. Let's head on over to the light. Now, I haven't played around in the bottom of the niche, but as I understand it, now, I think this was actually intact just a few days ago. When I pulled it out of the pool, this wiring here seemed intact, but I don't think it seems feasible to try and play around with this wiring and put some power to it. I did, of course, I did test putting power to the wire um, that was in that junction there, and surprisingly, it, it actually fit. So, 7 eighths is a little too small. Not sure if that's going to be exactly one inch, but that's too big, and of course that's too big, and of course that's too big, and it looks like everything else I've got is too small, but um, I'm going to have to go get another wrench or try the channel locks here and try to not destroy my light. Uh, that one came off nice and, nice and weird. easily, so that's good. So let's see what we got here. Now, this is just a regular 120 volt socket in there, and this light is really old. Um, it's cool that the outer bezel is um, or you know, was copper, um, and I can see that this is you know, got a seal in here before the wire goes in, but unfortunately, this outer seal is toast so I don't know how in the world that makes a safe connection but I think it's all reliant upon none of this leaking really this light's got to be replaced but it's possible I could just replace the wiring and try to make sure that it all has a good seal and save myself I don't know what 80 bucks well that's something. It's probably not worth it because even the glass needs to be replaced, which looks like it's 30 bucks. So, you know, at that point, it really might make a lot of sense to just switch this over to low voltage, and I assume that's going to be safer. So, that's where I am with my light replacement. And I also have no idea what's going on down there. I haven't stuck my face in there because 
We've still got filthy pool water and I just painted the top two steps and uh, you can see the bottom really needs to be painted too but it would be neat to have the light.